Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to make this 3D button. And once you understand the basic logic behind all of this, you'll be able to adjust it to your own project because as you will see it's actually really simple to make this button. So here I have a just a basic HTML document and let's start we're placing our HTML right here so let's put an anchor tag set its href attribute to pound sign so it does not lead anywhere and set its class equal to button And inside our anchor tag, we will have a span, span with a and its class will be equal to content. And that's it for our HTML. Let's get into our CSS. So first of all, let's make a basic reset and set margin to zero as well as padding Oops. and let's let's put back body's background color to light gray of f0 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 and let's put a font Whoops. Family to Arial Sans Serif. Save and let's look at it so far. Okay. Next, we will get into styling our button. So put a dot button to target our anchor tag with a class of button and set its display property to block we will set some width let's uh, set it to 180 pixels and height to well 60 pixels and we will position it relative so Later on, we can position our span element absolute to this button. Uh, next of all, let's set some border to 2 pixels, solid, and a dark blue color of uh, 0, 4, A. And let's save our document and view it so far whoops I forgot to, to put uh, uh, the text of the button so let's well let's set it to click me exclamation mark save it refresh our browser that's okay so far mm -hmm. next of all I want to center this button and push it just uh, right 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 here so let's set its margin our button mar buttons margin to top and bottom margin to 100 pixels and left and right to auto save it refresh well maybe we'll set it to 200 pixels refresh that's looking good and as you as you saw we we had rounded corners so we will set or the radius property to five pixels oops let's view it refresh our browser that's looking fine so next we will get into styling our our button but uh, specifically our span tab 
So let's talk. Whoops, button. Let's target our span element. We'll set its display property also to block and its position to absolute. And it will be position absolute to this button because uh, its nearest position par parent is this button because we, we set it its uh, position to relative. Mm -hmm. uh, we will set its width to 100% and its height also to 100% and it will be 100% of its parent parent width parent width refresh okay and we'll set its next we'll set its background color to just a light blue color of 09F. Save. Refresh. That's looking good. We will align our text to center. Oops. Mm -hmm. And set its color to white as well as we will set its text transform property to uppercase so all the letters are uppercase and next we, we want to vertically align this text so we will have to set its or let's place it here set its line height to the same height as 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 this element's height and as you can see it's uh, 60 pixels so we will set its line height to 60 pixels and it will center align it um, next of all we will we will make this 3d effect by using box shadow and you will see right here we'll set its box shadow property to first of all zero which is horizontal offset because we don't want this box shadow to be uh, for example right here to the right we want it to be as you saw it right here this, this, this dark blue color so we will set well let's set it to six pixels and our blur radius will be zero, so so the shadow does not fade. So it's as you can see, it's it, it's sharp, and its color will be pound sign zero six C. Save it. Refresh our browser. As you can see, we have our box shadow. Uh, next we will set its border radius to also 5 pixels as its parent and now you can see that we we'll, we have one problem because this this box shadow is is overlapping our, our border but we, we don't want that uh, so we will we will push this span element, our content element, uh, six pixels from the bottom. Well, it's, it's, let's set its bottom property to six pixels. Save it. Refresh our browser. And as you can see, it's pushed six pixels top the same amount as our, our box shadow. So it's not overlapping, and, and but but one problem we we have here is as you can see right right here we have some 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 body backgrounds uh, bodies background 
color we, uh, we can see here we don't want that so we will set our buttons background color to the same color as our box shadow so highlight it copy paste refresh our browser as you can see it no longer has these 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 white dots right here so and whoops the last thing we want is when we press this button we want it to go down like 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 a physical button so let's target our button colon active which means when our button is pressed our content element will receive following property so first of all we don't want it its bottom property to be six pixels we want this button to be pushed down so let's set its bottom property to zero save it refresh our browser let's click as you can see so far so good but when we click on it we want to get rid of this box shadow and the way we will do it is we'll just highlight this box shadow Control c paste it and we'll set this vertical offset to zero save our document refresh and there we have it we have a functioning button but the last thing you want to do is is animate this button so when we when we press it when we click on this button uh, the transition is, is 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 smooth so we will set our contents transition so first of all what kind of properties we want to target and I will we will set it to all 0 0.1 seconds which is 100 milliseconds and our timing function will be linear save it refresh our browser and there we have it as you as you saw it it it, it wasn't so hard to code this and then now that you know the basic idea behind this 3d looking button you will have no problems uh, including this button in your in your own project so thank you for watching and see you next time